फ्रेंड्स विद द राइज ऑफ ए आई एंड मशीन लर्निंग टेक्नोलॉजीज द रोल एंड द डिमांड फॉर एनी थिंग टू डू विद डेटा हैज इंक्रीज एक्सपोनशली बी इट अ डेटा एनलिस्ट और अ डेटा इंजीनियर और अ डेटा साइंटिस्ट बट वट एवर रोल यू चूज इन यू नीड टू नो दीज कॉन्सेप्ट वेयर इन हाउ यू प्रोसेस योर डेटा हाउ यू स्टोर योर डेटा इन टू अ डेटा वेयर हाउस अ डेटा लेक एंड नाउ अ न्यू टर्म हैज कम अप विच इज डेटा लेक हाउस सो इन दिस वीडियो वील ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड हाई लेवल कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ वॉट इज अ डेटा वेयर हाउस आई हैव मेड अ सेपरेट वीडियो स्पेशली ऑन डेटा वेयर हाउस बट इन दिस वील डू अ कंपेरेटिव एनालिसिस सो वॉट इज अ डेटा वेयर हाउस वॉट इज अ डेटा लेक एंड हाउ डेटा लेक हाउस सॉल्व सम प्रॉब्लम्स विच is currently there in a data warehouse or a data lake solution so by the end of this video i hope you will be in a position that uh, you would be able to explain these concepts in your interviews to your colleagues to your managers whoever you want to so without further ado let's get started so data warehouse as a concept is there from 1980s once we had our databases getting matured which are traditionally an oltp system online online transactional processing systems wherein you know suppose if you go to a vendor and you do the billing all that data transactional data used to go into your oltp systems but with these oltp systems there was a problem business was not able to gain business insights for example which particular product has the highest demand as far as the sales is concerned what is the buying behavior of the customer which product is not getting sold at all all those kind of things you know people used to feed in uh, excel and you know gain insights out of it so there you know the, this concept of an olap online analytical processing system came up wherein this whole data warehousing concept came in wherein you took the data from all your uh, disparate data sources it could be your crm system your sales system your excel files your csvs you processed it with a technology which is called as etl very famous word nowadays extract transform and load wherein you extracted the data understand the business understood the business requirement placed the transformations on that data and then eventually lo loaded it into a data warehouse and once it was loaded into the data warehouse it was aggregated it was summarized uh, to to a level wherein it, it could actually give you the business insights and then you know all the different analytics platforms dashboard or reporting platforms your data mining platforms used to connect to this data warehouse to gain insights but there was some fundamental problems with this system because see traditionally we only had oltp structured data which was asset compliant which was quote and quote a database specific data but as we grew we started getting data from our sensors from our social media devices and everywhere right and that data was semi structured and unstructured and this data warehouse uh, you know platform or solution was not capable of processing that kind of a data and that was the time when the new concept came in which is called as a data lake so with data lake the approach was different with data lake we always accepted the data in whichever format it's coming so data lake core concept is extract and load first and then transform it as per the need so that's why we were able to get data from systems like youtube crm twitter your sensor devices you simply take the data it could be raw data unstructured semi structured or fully structured data you are not judging the data based on your business needs because you don't know the business needs first priority is to collect the data in whichever format it is and then you load it into your data lake and once it is loaded in its raw format into data lake then you go and you put transform based on your needs so here you could have your ml or ai ml use cases you could have your business intelligence use cases you could have your third party vendors connecting to this data lake and fetching the data through apis so there could be numerous such use cases with data lake so the good thing about data lake is that it is not only meant for asset compliant databases you could have any data which could come into this data lake and sit forever and that's why the solutions which are there for data lake are such as uh, google cloud storage or amazon s3 which allows you these are object stores right so ob object storage service so it could allow you to store any kind of data images csvs video files whatever and based on your need you can then further take this from the data lake and also put it into a you know data warehouse ahead or a data mart and then further take it for your bi use cases or your ai ml use cases so there are the numerous 
possibilities with a data lake uh, solution so the good thing with data lakes uh, compared to data warehouse is it is very cost effective and it is very fast because of the simple reason that we are not putting our heads while fetching the data we are not putting any business logic at this place so the extraction and the loading is, becomes really fast and easy and then you pick and choose whatever data set you need but herein you need to put in your whole logic right at the first step which is the etl step and that used to take a lot of time lot of analysis lot of business transformation done and that's why the development of data warehouses used to take one to two years uh, for example but data lakes could be stood up quickly but it's a fairly new concept so the downside of this is data lake could turn into a data swamp so data swamp is a concept wherein you have so much data that you don't even know what exactly you need to do with this data and there could be data duplication issues there could be data which has very low quality and you are not able to make out why you actually got this data at first place so really it is a new concept it is still under development and that's one thing which you need to remember that data lakes has its downsides when it comes to uh, data quality especially also data governance also is a very important thing when it comes to data lake because you need to get hold of what kind of data you are getting so friends finally coming to data lake house data lake house is one of the most recent concept which combines the best of both the worlds so it combines the pros of a data warehouse plus the pros of a data lake and that you could see in the architecture so right at the start be it a batch data or a stream data so batch data is where you fetch data after a certain interval of time every day every week every month and stream is kind of a real time data getting fetched as the data is getting generated so both kind of data will first come and reside into your data warehouse as well as your data lake based on what kind of data it is if it if it is an asset compliant data uh, then it might go into a data warehouse and then if it is an unstructured or semi-structured data it might go into data lake based on the design which you have built and then your data warehouse and your data lake would be closely integrated right so both could access each other's data and then at the you know at the top of that uh, you know that layer there will be a shared data catalog now shared data catalog would be kind of a data marketplace wherein you would see what kind of data you need from a data warehouse or what kind of data you need from a data lake and then you could apply SQL based ETL queries on the fly which is called a schema on read. So schema on read allows you to quickly analyze the data whatever is there. There could be a requirement where you would want to uh, get some insights based on some data from a data warehouse and some data from a data lake right. So all those kind of things could be done then you could use Apache Spark and other big data processing tools to you know consume the big data and create some you know AI or ML use cases based on that big data which is stored in this data lake and then you also have near time ETL which is uh, not a traditional ETL which runs every 8 hours 12 hours it is more real time close to real time so that kind of an approach can give you the latest insights in the quickest time possible so yes it combines both best of both the worlds and then obviously you could use it whichever way you want it's a fairly new concept that's why data governance again becomes very necessary because managing a data warehouse and a data lake at the same time and ensuring the best of data quality and metadata management becomes a challenge but yes it is a fairly new concept it is still under development uh, but it is a very cost effective way to get the best of both the worlds and uh, this is what we are moving towards so data lake house and uh, you know products like microsoft azure uh, allows you to build such data lake houses very efficiently using their own cloud products and also aws and google cloud for that matter um, maybe if you need let me know in the comments and i might cover i might try to cover the full-blown data lake house architecture on one of these cloud platforms where we'll discuss specific tools and products which are needed in order to build a data lake house so i hope you now know the difference between a data warehouse data lake and a data lake house uh, if you have any queries put it in the comments let me know what you would want to learn in the field of data or in whichever field in it because we make it interesting for everyone and uh, yes guys uh, do give a like hit the subscribe and the bell icon it pushes the channel ahead it lets other people know that there is something useful happening on this channel and it helps us grow so until next time keep learning keep sharing all your knowledge and yes keep hustling bye for now